You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and there's always a lot going on in Brockton, and it's no exception at the Brockton Public Library. I have Paul Engel, our director, back. Nice to see you, Paul. Hello, Mark. Good to see you. We're just going to give you uh, uh, an office here. You can, <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can work. You can work over here too, besides the library, <laughs> Sounds uh, because like a good plan. <laughs> tons of stuff to promote. Okay. Yeah, First of all, we before do. we promote anything, <laughs> uh, Friday. Last week, uh, I can't remember the date at this point. The uh, 9th. The 9th. Uh, the Old Colony Library Network, mm -hmm. OCLN, uh, which is the regional network that serves Brockton and a bunch of surrounding communities, had their annual meeting at the Brockton Public Library. Yes, they did. You're on the legislative committee. You yes, helped put it together. Um, it was an evening event. Mm -hmm. Usually it's a breakfast and it brings legislators in and other library directors in and patrons in and city officials in. And it was a nice event. It was a great event. We had a lot of fun. There's a lot of work putting it on and a lot of people to thank for that, but um, I'm working on those thank you cards as I speak. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had some great representation from the mayor's office and our state reps uh, and our state senator. We had a lot of library directors there from all over. I've gotten nothing but praise back from it. I've heard about how beautiful our library looks, how uh, classy the event was, and how passionate everybody seemed to be about our library and libraries in general. Well, I share that passion, obviously, by being on the board. Um, but what you're referring to is the, there were three libraries mm -hmm. that came. Uh, to talk about one that built the library, yep, and I believe that was I'm trying to remember at this point. I know Stoughton is building a library; yeah, they're in the middle of construction, and Weymouth, Weymouth is, is about to begin construction. And for whatever reason, yeah. it escapes me which the first one was. So you had a a, 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 a built library, a library being built. The Stoughton Library plan looks beautiful. Yeah, I does. don't live too far from the Stoughton Brockton line, but my heart's in Brockton. But I <laughs> I visit because it's part of the network. Sure. Okay, yeah. and they do some great things over there like ESL like we do, mm -hmm. and they're right over the border. Um, we heard from George Camo, who's yes. on the Mass Board of Library Commissioners. He kind of, he was to end the program, right. and he actually um, talked about, he, he didn't want to go negative, it was a very positive event, but he talked about the grim realities of library budgeting from the state perspective. Right. Okay. And I understand in an email I got from you today, there are some grim realities from the federal level yes. that are coming down the pike because the uh, current administration is looking to make cuts. They're looking to defund the uh, Institute of Museum and Library Services completely. Completely. And if you look at the, if you look at the headlines, they're also talking about PBS, public right. broadcasting, and other things like that. Last year we sent you to DC and you helped lobby with our senators and reps. Our senators and reps support libraries. Absolutely. We know Senator Warren does, we know Senator Markey does, we know Congressman Lynch does. But if you look at the, 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 the makeup of Congress, it's very evenly divided on party lines, right. and it could happen, correct? Yes, yes it could. It could. So, In fact, the, 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 they haven't, as I, I, we're getting into politics now, that they, they, to my understanding, they're still continuing resolutions on this year's budget. Okay. And this year's uh, budget from the president's office also defunds the IMLS. And, so... And, so we're I guess you're going to take a flight down to D.C. And, 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 and lobby because, I mean, the only way legislators and senators hear your voice is sometimes if you're in their face. Right. You can call them, you can email them, but sometimes you have to actually, uh, and, and, and public institutions and nonprofits can't lobby, but we can educate. Right. Correct? Correct. We can educate. Yes. So, you know, you want the positive energy that's going in. I, I mean, we heard the story on Friday unscheduled from our own city councilor, mm -hmm. Gene Bradley Duranancourt, who had learned to speak English in the Brockton Public Library. That's right. He says he wouldn't be where he is if he didn't partake and Melise had been there to, to teach. Right. We just got in this year's budget Melise's position in ESL and ESOL to actually formalize it at the library. She had kind of done it on her spare time off to the side as a mm -hmm. regular employee at the library. Right. So we're hoping to expand that and do more with that. Um, the event, I think, was really positive. There were people there. We, we were lucky to have support from a number of city councilors that came, yes. a school committee member that came, um, of course, the legislative delegation, because some of the funding it's, it, you know, the old trickle-down theory. Mm -hmm. Well, if you cut money for technology on the state level, 
then the city or town has to pick up more in the municipal budget. Right. So we don't want to see that money cut. Okay. And there's on March 6th, there's mm -hmm. a library legislative day where you go up, we'll go up to Beacon Hill yep. and we'll talk to the senators and reps. Now, luckily, our senators and reps are members of the library caucus. Right. So they actually care about libraries and they help us fund it. Jerry Cassidy um, put into one of the bills for funding because we have agreed as the board to name the main libraries, the Thomas P. Kennedy main, main branch. branch. We're still going to keep that word Brockton in there too, but uh, we're going to have a signage up there so mm -hmm. we can tell people a little bit more about our events and activities on the side. We've never really had a sign. There's a sign on the building. I right. know it's the Brockton Public Library, but there's so the building sets down in down the off the of Main Street quite a bit. Right. So. so we want people to see that, and we'll do a dedication ceremony to Tom. Tommy fought for money for our library that's to make I it understand. handicapped, accessible, and ADA, mm -hmm. uh, just like the senior center across the way that's named after his mother. Right. So it's in his ward. It's in Ward Two. He lived around the corner. It's <laughs> very appropriate. Um, we get school vacation coming up. Yes, we do. I know I heard last night from Councilor Ann Beauregard, who is very active over there, that they're doing a cupcake decorating contest on the 20th. On is the that 20th, true? That is very much true, and it's right on the bat. We do it every year, and it's a, a, it's a great event. And, and um, uh, well, if you like decorating cupcakes, and, you know, kids, like, like, uh, they like playing with things, and they like getting messy with frosting. I like eating them more, <laughs> but I'm not supposed to, Paul, so I'm probably going to refrain from that. But that is the day after the holiday is the right. 19th, President's Day. So on the 20th, come and decorate cupcakes. There's all sorts of events and activities that week. All There's week, story yep. times and Mother school Goose vacation Department. week. The schools are closed, so That's you need right. to take the kids someplace, and the library would be the place to be. Yeah. Um, uh, we're talking about federal budget cuts and monies and everything like that, but it looks like um, library is also there to help because there is free tax preparation being offered at the library. Is that true? Yes. Every Monday from 2 to 7 p.m. It's a first-come, first-served basis. We are um, we have a company coming in, and they're offering free tax prep for, for um, households with an income under, I think, 50 Two or fifty-four thousand dollars. Because I mean, you can go to H and R Block and you can get taxes done for three hundred bucks, and that's right. a, uh, unaffordable for some people. They that's really right. can't afford that, if, especially if they're not itemized or they're on an EZ or they're lower income. Mm -hmm. I know the mayor's office is involved with that. I think it's Neighbor Works or Neighborhood Housing that also yeah. uh, participates and provides some of the people. They're also doing that other days at Massasoit. At Massasoit, so that's it's right. the library, and you have all the resources in the library. If people want to look at tax books and mm -hmm. tax guides, I believe you have tax. Forms. We do. We have the, the old-fashioned paper that's, forms that's that right. are upstairs. We have the 1040, and, right? Yep, we do. And the state ones. Yes. So we're one-stop shopping. You can come to the library. <laughs> you can decorate cupcakes, or you can do your taxes <laughs> all at the same time. Um, we also have the grant-funded program, the Immigration Dialogue Series. We are all Americans, and there's another event coming up on the 27th. Yes, there is. It's a panel discussion with uh, Im immigrants, old and new, and and. Uh, from different uh, cultural backgrounds that, that have arrived in Brockton over the years. Uh, I, I'm drawing a blank on everybody that's going to be there. In the panel. Well, we'll, 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 we'll promote it. We'll put it up. It's, it's up. If, if you want to find out about events at the mm -hmm. library and you go to BrocktonPublicLibrary.org, yep. okay, on the website is a calendar. That's right. It's Event Keeper, and it lists all the different things. Sometimes you put up a PDF of all the, the, the flyers with all the panelists, mm -hmm. and we record that. We don't want to tell you we record it because we want you to go, <laughs> but we record it because we're documenting it, we're going to archive it, we're that's going right. to have DVDs available in the library probably for checkout, Absolutely. and uh, I think that's everything we got. I, I just got the, got the high sign to, to say goodbye, so we'll have you back and we'll promote more. Absolutely. Always a pleasure, Mark. Thanks, Paul. Good to see you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.